Alright everybody, how's everybody doing? Figured I'd bring a, another short video here, just kind of focusing on hero equipment. Uh, as some people have asked me to talk about hero equipment and what, uh, what I think is more important than others. Um, now, basically when it comes to hero equipment, the first thing that you want to focus on is your hero power how much, um, or combat power I guess I should say, combat power for your hero, and you should focus on what heroes you have uh, in your, um, wow I can't think of the, the, the name of it, but uh, the um, appointment positions, so these four, uh, the guard captain, treasure, architect, scholar, As these are going to be the heroes that really give you some good buffs, uh, the passive buffs mainly, so architect is your construction hero, Scholar is going to be your research. Treasure is going to be your um, uh, resource production and troop training hero. And Guard Captain is going to be your uh, defense hero. So when you get attacked, uh, this is the hero that's going to be uh, used for defense. So with that in mind, the first thing that you want to do is obviously take a look at what hero you want to use for those positions. Uh, just to show you, uh, for treasure, I have Maria. I have her set for production trait, uh, as I'm using her for pro uh, resource production. So I've got her equipped with the um, production overseer uh, earrings. Then I've got the Eldred's file. And the rest of the gear is the production overseer uh, equipment. Um, there is better gear for uh, the treasurer, but I just don't have it yet, but that's the gear that I've got. Uh, then I've got her equipped with uh, resource production um, runes as well. Now with guard captain, I have him equipped with the uh, guard captain set, uh, which is the guardian set. Um, it's currently almost all blue grade or higher. Uh, I'm still working on it. Uh, I've got him set for infantry trait as my main strength far, as far as research goes is infantry. Um, now the thing about the guardian set is that uh, if we just take a look here at the set details uh, you can see that the base set bonus gives a lot of debuffs to the enemy troops. Um, when you get it to the immortal grade it goes up significantly. Uh, as you can see it goes from 20% to uh, minus 80% just on the attack alone. Then having the um, plus 5 sets, plus 10, plus 15, uh, as far as enhancement goes, gives additional bonuses for the set bonus. Um, now he does have the full set, so he does have um, that set bonus enabled right here, just the base set. Uh, once I get this old immortal though, it will get that uh, immortal set bonus, which will be rather nice. Now. The thing about this gear is that, like I said, it gives the enemy a lot of debuffs. It's also pretty decent in um, uh, arena for a defense for your defense, and it's also pretty okay for monster hunt as it does give uh, hero stats as well, and that's what's kind of important there. Uh, as you can see, just with the blue blue grade, one purple and two green. His combat power is about 6.3 thousand, so that's not too bad. Um, now, another uh, good hero to look at is your construction hero. I just went with um, Haral. I've got him set for construction speed. He's got construction speed runes on, and he's got the uh, glorious set, which is the construction set. Again, you can take a look here at the base set. It gives you construction speed, immortal set, again, construction speed. So. The good thing about this set is it does the base construction speed and also gives a uh, nice static amount of uh, construction time that it takes off as well. So not only do you get that 25%, but you also get a set amount of 25 minutes, uh, for, in this case for the blue uh, armor piece, uh, chest piece. The next, hero that, or next uh, type of set that you want to focus on would be your research set. Very, very important as this set is going to be um, the most responsible for your actual growth um, for a good period of the game as research is super important and there's a lot of it. 
so you want to make sure that you get the sagacious set um, for sure uh, I've got it all at blue uh, with one purple not too bad I've got the trait set for research speed and I've got it on Salus uh, and I've got all research runes and as you can see with this set similar to uh, the construction set just the research speed buff research speed buff again and the good thing about the armor pieces is again you've got that 25% research speed buff then the um, research speed increase which is the same thing as the decreased construction time uh, on the construction set so for instance this one will take away two hours and 30 minutes just from the base time done easy uh, after that I focus on my uh, attack heroes uh, is what I call them um, which would be the hero that you use when you're sending an attack at either a player or a chaotic stronghold or a defiled stronghold and for that I uh, currently I've got um, Carl as my main one um, which has the berserker set all, all immortal with a plus one enhancement on one accessory um, and I've got him set as the infantry uh, tray as I said before infantry is my strong suit so that's what I have him set up for now the base st uh, set bonus for berserker set is right here and then you've got the immortal set it's about half of what the uh, immortal of the guardian set is basically um, so again you know it just kind of depends on what you want to go with uh, as far as like not only just budget because you can buy the guardian set um, but you can also uh, farm that uh, from monsters once you get a full uh, berserker set uh, up to immortal uh, you should be able to hit level 21s and 22s pretty easily um, which will give you the chance to get that material those materials um, from those monsters as you need to be able to kill level 21s and up uh, to get material chests for the special sets or I guess level 30 sets I should say um, and then you have uh, the berserker set which is pretty much a infantry set um, so that works rather well for me as you can see here and it also gives the uh, hero stats as well which is really good for monster hunt and a little bit of dimensional uh, battles stats as well which um, helps with arena and the dimensional portal now the other sets uh, that you can get is the monster hunting sets uh, currently I'm working on replacing this one let me actually go to the where is it yep here we go so on tours I've got him equipped with the hunters hunter kings set which is the uh, monster hunting set uh, it is all at immortal it does not have a set bonus which is kind of unfortunate um, so it makes him a little weaker uh, because of that but he is still pretty good uh, he's got that 5.9 uh, K uh, I believe you can indeed enhance this uh, if you've got other pieces of it uh, however uh, the hunters mark set is uh, the better set um, which I believe there's actually currently an event going on where you can get that um, the other set which is actually a new set that just came out is the uh, where is it set equipment it is the Dark Lord set this right here this set is also really really good it is a uh, basic troop set so it's like uh, it affects all troops so in my personal opinion this Dark Lord set is going to be much much better for defense than this Guardian set only because it gives all army bonuses and when you're getting attacked all of your troops are fighting not just one specific type so that's gonna be really really good uh, the only thing that the Guardian set has on the Dark Lord set in my opinion is the debuffs to the enemy um, which as you can see this set does not have it does have deployable troop size um, and then if we go in you can see that these do not have debuffs at all um, you can see that this does do additional damage to uh, tier 1 enemy troops so you can get through those trap uh, trap accounts pretty easily with this set um, the only way to get this these uh, materials for this set is by doing the world raid um, you can see that by going to set codex going down dark lord set click on set and you can see or sorry not set you can click on the armor piece click on obtain there you go elite monster hunt obtain current materials by hunting Cerberus uh, points event points event world ranking from a points event raid rank reward all right 
Yep, so you need to kill Cerberus, and the, I believe the only thing that you can do with Cerberus is it's the a world raid, if I remember right. Let me just double check that real quick, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So you go up here, see how there is nothing for level 30 for Cerberus. That's because Cerberus is a world raid. Kind of similar to the, uh, what is it, Dark Knight. So, same thing, just instead of the Dark Knight, it's Cerberus. So, pretty good stuff. Other than that, as far as gear goes, um, the next thing that you want to do once you get your gear crafted and you get it up to Immortal Grade, uh, you want, want to start making uh, additional pieces of that set and start working those up to Immortal Grade so that you can start getting into uh, the realm of enhancements. Um, now, with enhancements, it's going to take a long time. Uh, it does uh, cost quite a bit of uh, silver and it costs a lot of materials, uh, especially for um, the level 30 sets. Uh, just to show you. So, say I wanted to enhance. Um, I wanted to enhance my Berserker accessory. So, I could make an additional you know, Berserker accessory uh, that is immortal with an 80% chance. Uh, however, I'm probably just going to say that it's not worth taking that chance. I'm going to wait until I can get this up to gold. Get my uh, another Berserker uh, bone necklace, craft it, and then I will go to Carl. And I'll take this plus one, and I will jump it up to plus two by going to enhance. Click on Enhance, and then here you'll see that you need the another Berserker uh, Bone Necklace at Immortal Grade. It'll cost 100,000 silver to take it to plus two. Here you can see the uh, increases here of what it will actually do. And that will be pretty good. Basically, at plus three, uh, it's basically the same as a uh, just base Guardian accessory um, at Immortal Grade if I remember right. Let me just double check that just just to be correct. Or not Immortal, or not uh, Guardian set. I was thinking uh, Conqueror set, my bad. Okay, yeah, so no, I, was, I believe I was wrong. Yeah, so I was wrong. It should be plus four, I believe. Plus four or five. Uh, that'll be uh, the exact same as a Immortal because uh, at plus two, it'll be basically the same as a um, purple grade conquering, and then at immortal, it should be the same as a plus five, I believe, uh, enhancement on berserker set. I uh, could be wrong. But yep, hopefully that uh, helps you guys uh, kind of understand the gear. Um, I guess to just quickly touch on those other plus 30 sets real quick. Um, if you want to go infantry focus, you go conqueror set because of the um, set bonuses that you get here are all infantry focused and then with the uh, destroyer set it is all archer so you want this if you're focusing on uh, archers or ranged and then for cavalry you want the dominator set as that gives you the um, cavalry bonuses there is no siege set uh, which I think uh, makes sense in my opinion but uh, Maybe one day we'll have a uh, siege set just for, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> but, uh, yep, hopefully that helped you guys out, uh, understanding gear a little bit more. Um, if you guys have questions, always feel free to uh, post comments down below. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.